County Jail Roleplay, a game with over 56 million visits, 173,000 favorites, has gone belly up. Why is that? Well, let's read it for ourselves. As you can see here, at 8 o'clock this morning, Block has said, Hello at everyone. Sadly, a former developer known as Scripps Master, who was fired months ago for scamming community members for real life money, has decided to fill out a false DMCA claim towards the game and Roblox is taking it down. The person who filled the DMCA is claiming the whole game as their own, which couldn't be further from the truth. The game was created as a side hobby for myself back in 2021, and since then I've been developing it alone with the help of a few collaborators. The former developer came in the picture in December 2022 and helped to add a few features to the game, but at no point did he contribute more than 5% of the entire game. So can I fight this DMCA claim? Yes, I could fight it as I'm sure I would win it in court as there are studio versions and logs that prove I'm the owner of the intellectual property. But submitting a claim would mean that Roblox would share my personal information, including my address to the person who submitted the claim and he has allegedly doxxed people before, so I'm not going to be fighting the claim for my own safety. Instead, I have decided to contact Roblox support. But honestly, I never had faith in Roblox, and I don't think Roblox support is going to do anything to help. Can I get a comment? Anybody has that has ever been helped by Roblox support? Anybody at all that isn't like some big YouTuber? Anybody? But here you go. This was supposed to be a hobby. Something that I enjoyed, but now it has become more of a side job that I do not enjoy. And it's not worth the amount of drama it generates. I'm quitting. Uh, thanks for everyone's support, and I'm sorry. And he is now gone. He has left his Discord server. As you can see, completely gone. Look, we can disable this. And yeah, look, it's gone. He is no longer in the server that he was, you know, in charge of. And now the server is kind of just, you know, in limbo. And as you can see here, we got our senior staff, Missy Muka. He said, hello, everyone. It breaks our heart to see Block leave. We understand that many people are hurt by this, but we ask everyone remains calm during this time of change. Unfortunately, we cannot bring back County Jail Roleplay. However, that does not mean we cannot continue to be a community. For many of us, Block Game Studio is a safe place, a place to go when you need to an escape from the cruelty of the world. We plan on keeping Block Game Studio active as a place to speak with others and as a safe place for anyone who may need it. Please be patient with the staff team and with each other as this is a very hard time for everyone. We will get through it if we all work together. Thank you for understanding. So what, is, what am I making this video for? I am making this video so that one, you know that he is, he's kind of just down and out and he's, he's kind of gone because the, in order to get the game back up, it will cost thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in legal fees. In addition, this person could just dox block right now or after the after the battle after everything is done so on and so forth and it'll probably take years before they get arrested before they do anything so kind of they can do whatever they want with impunity and he'll have to suffer the consequences forever meanwhile it'll just take just the legal system is too slow basically and how roblox support is right now it's not going to be helping him so he's kind of just done you know this was the final straw that broke the camel's back he was even gonna go if we check the update log he was going on, you know, a hibernation for another two months. Well, that was, yeah, another two months before updating this. You know, he was on a break. He worked very hard on the game and he was kind of just taking a break. But then in the middle of the break, he gets just a claim like this. And the game did not really have any game passes. It didn't have anything else like that. You couldn't buy anything. There was no finance. There's no financial anything. He wasn't really making money from the game unless you decided to go to the group and donate money yourself right from one of these donations or something else like that some other type of there was no money he was not in this for the profit like he said he this he's one of the true few developers that can really say i was really in here for you know as a, as a side project for a, you know for having some fun you know there were no micro transactions so on so forth nothing he was in here for pure fun and somebody took advantage of that and just took and just took it over he just buy nope too bad so sad because he's angry about getting caught being a scammer now he just threw the entire game under the bus hopefully there'll be a bigger youtuber who, who has connections at roblox you know bigger than me who can hopefully get this resolved i'm really hoping because this was an absolutely great game luckily police raid simulator as of now is still up 
we'll see if it stays up so on and so forth but uh stay tuned guys and look out for more videos talking about this because hopefully we can get block back his game